Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with an update on Zellcore, and this one's a doozy. You can now connect your Zellcore wallet to Uniswap so that you can trade using the assets in your Zellcore wallet. And it's super easy to do. And unless you've been living under a rock, you gotta know that Uniswap is a really popular decentralized exchange. So this is a very cool integration and it's super easy to use. So I'm gonna take you through all of the steps to get your wallet connected to Uniswap and we'll go ahead and do a little live trade and see how that goes. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to connect your Zellcore mobile wallet to Uniswap. Head on over to app.uniswap.org and we're gonna go ahead and set up our Ethereum wallet because if we connect our Ethereum wallet, that will effectively connect all of the other Ethereum tokens within Zellcore. So, in Uniswap, on the top right, just click this connect to a wallet button and then choose wallet connect. And that will give us a nice big QR code. And on the right hand side of the screen here, you see my mobile wallet. So in Zellcore, I'm gonna click on Ethereum and then in the top right, click the three dots and then click scan. All right, and then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and scan this QR code. There we go. And now I have several options here. It's asking me which wallets I want to connect. This is all of the wallets that I have in Zellcore. Let's just say I wanna connect wallet one. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the X underneath all of the rest of these, and that will remove those wallets and just give me the single wallet. When I'm done at the bottom here, just click on approve session. Okay, and now you can see that we are connected both in Zellcore, it says wallet connect right here at the top, and then in Uniswap, you can see my Ethereum address there, as well as my balance. The balance shows up in the middle too, right above Ethereum. So why don't we go ahead and make a little trade here. I've always wanted to pick a little bit of, you're probably, probably wondering why hasn't he done this yet, but I've always wanted to grab a little bit of chain link. So I got a little bit of a balance here. Let's go ahead and max out that balance. And that will go ahead and give me 3.4 chain link, roughly. If I go ahead and click on swap, I'm gonna to have to confirm this. Looks like we're gonna pay a little bit of ETH, not a big deal. And we'll go ahead and hit confirm swap. Now, we've got a payment request here in Zellcore. All right, let's put all of the information through here. All we have to do is choose our gas fee so if you want to be a little savvy and try and save some Ethereum on your gas fee, you can go ahead and change that right here. I'm not, I'm just going to leave it at normal. And then at the very bottom, click on approve and pay request. Uh-oh, insufficient funds for gas. Ugh. Okay. So then what we're going to need to do is reject this request. I'll dismiss it here. And then we're gonna to need to change this amount so that we have a little bit of gas left, okay? So if I hit three here and then go to swap, that'll leave me a little extra Ethereum so that I can actually do the swap, okay? So we'll go ahead and click on confirm. Once again, it bounces back over to my Zellcore mobile wallet and we can go through the details here. All right, and this gas fee is the same. Everything looks good here. All right, let me go ahead and click on approve and pay request. All right, now because I didn't max out the amount, I left a little bit so that I would be able to pay for that gas fee. We were able to go ahead and get this approved. So real basic stuff, guys. And it works seamlessly. If you wanna take a look at this in the Explorer, you can show that in the Explorer. I'm just gonna go ahead and close it out and sit on it and wait for a minute. In the meantime, why don't we go ahead and add Chainlink so I can see it in my wallet when it actually pops up. There, Chainlink, all right, close that down. Now that I have Chainlink here, 
guys, guys, look at that. I already have three link exactly sitting in my wallet. It was that fast. Okay. This was all done live. So I hope that that was a really good demo of how well integrated Wallet Connect is with Zellcore and Uniswap. I don't know what more I could say. That was super exciting. And I'm just getting used to this myself, but there's really no learning curve. All you got to do is scan the QR code, sync up your wallet and start trading. It's that simple. And like I said, once you connect one Ethereum wallet, all of the other tokens within that same wallet are connected to that Ethereum address. So you only need to connect one address. It's not like in MetaMask where you have to add this token and add that token and add another token. It's such a, it's, it can be very annoying. Um, you already store them in Zellcore. Go ahead and start trading with them. Why hassle? It makes it so much easier. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's suppose you want to go ahead and call it quits. All you got to do is go up here, click the address, and disconnect. Done. No more connection here. Notice in Zelcor, the wallet connect is gone. I hope you're as excited as I am about this. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Have you been using Uniswap? Did you get that 400 uni for free that they just dropped on everybody? What did you do with that uni? Also, Zelcor, what is it, 3.11? is going to allow you to store uni. So are you still holding on to that uni? And do you want to keep it in Zellcore? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more updates coming down the pike very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.